Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is our next lecture on vocabulary. Vocabulary building. In the previous lecture, we learned how to be, uh, build your vocabulary manually, or it was your personal effort, as you have to add the prefixes and suffixes to the root word and uh, uh, finding synonyms and antonyms and uh, changing the uh, class of the word and uh, uh, making acronyms and uh, anagrams and uh, uh, building labeling the pictures and uh, having a vocab list with you in order to improve your vocabulary and the last one was thinking in english all these techniques were manual techniques you have to do on your own today we have to know about the technological uh, apps web apps that could help you in improving your vocabulary number one uh, vocabulary.com it has its unique features number one uh, for example you can play vocabulary you can choose your word you can uh, play the challenge you can uh, play the memorial day words all these would help you in order to help improve your vocabulary you just have to subscribe and they would send you uh, the new word each day and for the whole long day you could have uh, repeated it in your conversation and talking to the other people so it would be a long-term part of your memory then comes the most important one yourdictionary.com it is my personally favorite one because it has not only the unique rather distinctive features for example it tells you that words that start with you have only to give them a give it a letter it will give you the list of all the words that start with that letter and words with the letter again similarly you have to give it a word it will give you the list of all the words that have or that contain that letter either in the beginning or in the middle or in the end of the anywhere in the word then words ending in similar feature you have to give it a letter and uh, it will give you all the words that end with that letter and words by length it's very interesting feature that you have to give it a length of four letter word three letter word five letter word seven letter words it will give you the list of all the words that have have, have the same length and next feature is more very very important and very uh, uh, funny as well because it is about fun facts about words with the friends all the words you had been speaking with the friends it will give you uh, fun facts about those words and then 12 uh, free offline word games it is the most distinctive feature I could never find with any other dictionary or with any other app. I will not go into the detail of these uh, uh, games. I will give you a brief introduction. You can go to the internet or explorer or explore them on your own. The first one is four picks one word. It exposes or declares four pictures and you have to give the answer against four pictures answer to with one word only and then it gives you the answer as well in order to improve your vocabulary the second one is uh, uh, bonza word puzzle puzzle it's again very interesting feature go and explore it classic word solo third game and the fourth one is codescape puzzles Fifth game is word a lot. 
सिक्स गेन इज वर्ड बाउंड देन वर्ड कनेक्ट देन वर्ड हीट्स देन वर्ड स्केट्स एंड टेंथ वन इज वर्ड सर्च एंड इलेवेंथ वन इज वर्ड विजल सर्च एंड लास्ट वन इज रियली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वर्ड वॉक इट गिवस यू इंस्पिरेशन ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट मेक यू वॉक नंबर टू सम यूजफुल डिक्शनरीज दैट वुड हेल्प यू इंप्रूव योर वोकेबलरी नंबर वन मेरियम वेबस्टर urban dictionary and dictionary.com all the dictionaries have one common feature that is word of the day you can subscribe with any dictionary and they would keep on sending you the word on each new day and that word would be really very interesting for you to learn in order to make a part of your vocabulary but dictionary.com has some other features as well that uh, you can play crosswords and uh, puzzles hangman and guess word from the definition it's very interesting feature of dictionary.com and the last uh, book in the second useful dictionaries is reverse dictionary.com it's again my favorite one it tells you what you do not know you have to give it a detail or definition it will give you one word against it for example you want to know about unpleasantly moist write in the dictionary uh, word search unpleasantly moist it will give you a word list against all possible answers for example you did not know what the young one of a horse uh, is called then write in the reverse dictionary that young one of the horse it will give you a list of all the words then again a very important feature of this dictionary is that it it uh, uh, gives or uh, and list them with the with the colors the most relevant color word has the very uh, a very high colors then the color dims as the relevancy of the word uh, decreases third point recommended books for vocabulary development one important book is by uh, andrew wright games for language learning he gives you a lot of games you can apply on your own and if you are a teacher you can apply in your classes it gives you a unique characteristics of a being a great teacher of uh, vocabulary building in the classroom and next is a series of books it is for the professional people it is a esp series esp stands for english for specific purpose this book has the title flash on english with specific vocabulary for example splash flash on english uh, construction vocabulary it is for obviously civil engineers and flash on english cooking vocabulary it has the vocabulary list or all the important words for chefs and cooks and uh, uh, flash on english mechanics obviously uh, this vocabulary is for mechanical engineers and flash on english tourism if you are interested in tourism you should have improved your vocabulary regarding uh, regarding tourism so this book is for you and flash on english commerce the people who are related to the financer finances financial advisors financial managers accountants anyone else who who want to know or econ economy of pakistan it book this book is for for all of those anyhow you can explore or find these books all uh, for your interest and start reading the last one is 
reading for improving vocabulary. I repeatedly say that read of the literature of your interest. Your interest could be could be different. You have to recognize your own interest. If you are uh, interested in in Islam, you should have uh, studied the Islamic literature in English medium. It will it would improve your vocabulary and your knowledge as well. And knowledge is the real investment. And then. If you are interested in sciences or art and culture, you could find the literature of your interest and read. But anyhow, we recommend the following books uh, for the beginners who want to improve your vocabulary. Number one, Oxford Reader Series. These are the books for the, for the children, for the kids or the school going boys, school going uh, girls. They uh, have the series of one, two, three Oxford book readers. Oliver Tris is one of them. You could have get it, uh, got it and read it. Gulliver's Travels is very interesting book. The book, real book is the one that makes you or uh, increases your interest to read. If the book decreases your interest to read, it is not a good book for you. So, Gulliver's Travels is a very interesting book. Vanity Fair. Read it. It increases your vocabulary. And novels by uh, Sidney Sheldon. For example, If Tomorrow Comes and Doomsday Conspiracy. These are the important. And the last one is uh, Slaughterhouse Five. These are the very simple but vocabulary building books for the beginners and obviously informative as well the last one is you should have a particular vocabulary list for informal speaking informal speaking means not professional one i have already told you about the professional books flash on series you could have bought them and uh, read them but these lists would help you in your informal speaking uh, these are the domestic list of domestic chores and grocery items list of vegetables and fruits list of home appliances list of animals and their sounds list of uh, uh, pets list of human posters human activities and human sounds uh, list of birds and their sounds list of sea creatures and their sounds list of reptiles and rodents, list of insects, list of plants, list of odd actions that are not usually common, list of social media words and uh, trending, uh, trending words. This is very much important for the, uh, for the next generation.